fiasco. Fiasco. The sordidness of it. The sheer sweating sordidness. Worse than if I'd actually done it. To be that much in sin and feel so ridiculous as well. There was no excuse. If now my music was rejected by God forever, it was my fault, mine alone. Would she return tomorrow? Never. If she did, what then? What would I do? Apologize profoundly or try again? Nobile, nobile Salieri. What had he done to me, this Mozart? Before he came, did I behave like this? Did I? Toy with adultery, blackmail, women, twist myself into cruelties. It was all going, slipping, growing rotten because of him. said that these were the original scores, first and only drafts of the music. Yet they looked like fair copies, they showed no corrections of any kind. It was puzzling. And then, suddenly alarming. What was evident was that Mozart was simply transcribing music completely finished in his head. And finished, as most music is never finished. Displace one note, and there would be diminishment. Displace one phrase, and the structure would fall. Here again, only now in abundance, were the same sounds I'd heard in the library. The same crushed harmonies. Glancing collisions. Agonizing delight. The truth was clear. That serenade was no accident. I was staring through the cage of those meticulous ink strokes. An absolute beauty. Capisco. I know my fate. Now, for the first time, I feel my emptiness, as Adam felt his nakedness. Tonight, at an inn, 
Somewhere in the city stands a giggling child who can put on paper, without actually setting down his billiard cue, casual notes which turn my most considered ones into lifeless scratches. Grazie, signore. You gave me the desire to serve you, which most men do not have then saw to it that the service was shameful in the ears of the server. Grazie. You gave me the desire to praise you, which most men do not feel, then made me mute. Grazie, Tanti. You put into me perception of the incomparable, which most men never know then ensure that I would know myself forever mediocre. Why? What is my fault? Until this day, I have pursued virtue with rigor. I have labored long hours to relieve my fellow man. I have worked and worked the talent you allowed me. You know how hard I've worked. Solely that in the end, in the practice of the art which alone makes life comprehensible to me. I might hear your voice, and now I do hear it. And it says only one name, Mozart. Spiteful, sniggering, conceited, infantine Mozart. Who's never worked one minute to help another man. Shit-talking Mozart and his body-smacking wife. Him you have chosen to be your sole conduct and my only reward. My sublime privilege is to be the one man alive in this time who shall clearly recognize your incarnation. Grazie, e grazie ancora. So be it. From this time we are enemies. You and I. I'm not accepted from you. Do you hear? They say God is not mocked. I tell you man is not mocked. I am not mocked. They say the spirit bloweth where it listeth. I tell you no. It must list to virtue. Or not blow at all. Dio in giusto. You are the enemy. I name thee now, Nemico Eterno. And this I swear, whilst I have breath, I shall block you on earth as far as I am able. What use after all is man, if not to teach God his lessons.